Hey everybody, what is going on? It is Dunbar Snack Bar with Star Citizen, and I'm really excited to be able to show you my fighter that I just purchased. I have been kind of hesitant to be able to get this game because in the past I've really uh, been screwed over by some crowdfunded games. And so I didn't want the same thing to happen to me again, especially with a game that has so much potential like this one does. But the idea blows my mind. Uh, it's something that I've always wanted to see out of a game and to see it finally come to fruition is cool like uh, The group that actually makes this too has done a tremendous job at being very transparent on What they're doing like there's a lot of videos that says you know, hey, here's what we just finished and it gives you take a look at it and Stuff like that. So I'm really really excited and it's gonna be a lot of dog fighting at the beginning like with alpha and you know dog fighting modules and stuff like that they're coming later on which you guys will see um, this is going to be a great craft so the 325a is what i got and i plan on using tactics that are similar to like what the germans used in world war ii with the bf 109 so you'll be seeing a lot of hit and run type of tactics uh, that i'll be using so make sure you guys stay tuned for that and I would like to know too if you guys uh, or any of you are looking to be able to get this game as well because I think it'd be cool to like get together with some subscribers and just fly around you know do some missions and, and stuff like that that'd be cool but here's kind of another view I know with this hanger that I got it you really can't see this the best but anyway let's take a look inside I'm still trying to decide what I want to name this ship because even though it's just a fighter I feel like I got to name it something so I don't know. I'll probably be thinking about that actually a lot tomorrow. Like, what do I want to name this? So we'll switch to first person view so you guys can get the full immersive experience of this. So I think this is like the cargo area or just place that I could put passengers. I don't know. Uh, we'll see. But here is the cockpit. I'm going to be wasting a lot of hours in this chair. I shouldn't say wasting because this game shows a lot of promise. But... Um, yeah, you just don't hop right on in. You actually have to go through all the motions, which I think is cool. I mean, that's going to add a lot of realism. And I don't know. Like, I'm so excited. I'm sure you guys can tell. Um, so here I am kind of looking at the dashboard a little bit. I'm kind of looking at what's it's saying down there about engine two. Um, obviously, you guys have seen the middle quite a bit. On the left, it's basically the exact same thing. So uh, my understanding is this may change even a little bit in the cockpit. And how it's going to change, I don't know. But this still looks really, really sweet. And I'm kind of excited to, you know, using this with Oculus Rift. That's my plan. So I'm looking around like, I wonder what this is going to be like when I have Oculus on my face. But, oh, this is going to be sweet. So I did want to share this with you guys that I did purchase uh, a craft, which is going to give me access to the game. I do want this to be a big part of the channel, and I hope you guys can join in. So thanks for watching, you guys. I sure do appreciate it. Like I said, more of this to come later on. And as always... I hope you guys have a good one.